morning all all right we're starting off our day talking about the arizona coyotes uh, the coyotes have taken that next step in finding themselves a new home in the arizona area uh alex Maruello, the owner of the arizona coyotes uh with a letter of intent to buy a 41 acre parcel of land in mesa is that first step so they're going to want more than one option they're going to have multiple options as the plan and then go with the one that works best for the team. So Mesa is one spot, but they're also looking at portions of land in both Scottsdale as well as in Phoenix itself. And the plan is to have the building ready to go for the 2026-2027 season, which has been the, the, the target for the Coyotes the whole way through. So the, the idea that you know they're play, playing in the mullet, they've got all this dead cap money, uh, they've gone into this rebuild, and the roster's been really pretty bad. Andre Turney has been a big part of the reason that the record hasn't been nearly as bad as the roster reads on paper. Uh, 2026 is the year to look at for when they'll stop picking up, you know, uh, bad contracts and dead money and stop worrying about prospects and draft picks and start going for it. Start really going for it. Uh, the I think the push has started for this coming season where they're going to try to at least get better on the ice and that the plan is by 2026, then they'll have a pretty good team. So uh, the last of the dead cap money right now, according to Cap Friendly, would be Shea Weber's contract. Shea Weber's contract carries a cap hit of $7,857,143. Uh, you'll notice they haven't picked up any bad contracts this summer. Uh, they have the cap space. They still might, but 2026 is kind of seen as like the, the end point. So any contracts that extend beyond 2026, odds are they wouldn't be all that interested in picking them up. Uh, this is the Hail Mary. This is what potentially could be that, that last attempt for the Arizona Coyotes. And if it falls through, this might be what causes them to move. But they're going to take every step they can to prevent that. Uh, then the team today came out with a statement. The one thing that stands out in the statement is, well, there's two things. One, it does talk about all the players they've picked up and the excitement that they feel like will be generated by additions like Zucker, by additions like, like Dumba and others. Uh, but also the team statement uh, said something that uh, the, the internet immediately uh, took, took uh, umbrage with uh, and, and kind of snickered at, which is that uh, Logan Cooley is the, the top prospect in the world, uh, to which everybody's saying, so Connor Bedard doesn't exist. Okay, cool. Uh, but I will say this, Logan Cooley could very well be one of the contenders for Rookie of the Year this year. His addition to the Arizona Coyotes roster could be a, a big factor in them getting better this year. Uh, but we'll see, right? Uh, this is that steady climb I've been talking about. And and I mean, I, I understand what they're trying to do. I could stand here and, and you know, wave my arms around and, and, you know, yell about needing to get Quebec back. But it's not going to make it happen. Uh, it is quite clear that the NHL's plan is to give the Coyotes every chance to make this work. And we'll see if we get an announcement, an official announcement from the Coyotes in early January, or if it does come at the All-Star Game from Gary Bettman. There have been rumors of both. Uh, so we'll see what ends up happening. But uh, this is that, that attempt to try to make this work after Tempe voted down the Tempe Entertainment District. Uh, and again, I still find it interesting that Phoenix would be involved in this because... You know, after after everything that went down with Tempe, with the Entertainment District and Phoenix and the fight over everything. But at any rate, it's it's a big market. We've had the debate about whether or not it's a hockey market. I am sure we will have that debate again right here. Um, and it's a debate that's been had in the National Hockey League for roughly three decades now. So we'll see when this comes to an end and what building they end up going with. Do they buy that parcel of land in Mesa and make that the spot for their new home? Uh, does Scottsdale work out? Does Phoenix work out? At any rate, that's why they're called the Arizona Coyotes and no longer the Phoenix Coyotes. Gives them a little bit of leeway. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.